Hello, this is Rory with the Love Chat, and today's topic is the Law of Attraction. Now, this is video number 132. If you have a question you'd like for me to consider featuring on the channel, please write it in a comment below. And if you enjoy these videos, please subscribe and hit like, as it really does help my channel out. Also, if you'd like to do a Skype or email coaching, be sure to visit thelovechat.net slash coaching, as all of my coaching prices have been discounted. Now then, let's talk about the Law of Attraction. This, in my opinion, is one of the most harmful topics that we can talk about for a very specific reason, and it's because it propagates the idea that if we truly think and believe something, we can use our thoughts to create it into existence. And so I'm going to talk to you about the Law of Attraction as people know it through a movie, a documentary, I suppose, called The Secret. And then I'm going to explain what the Law of Attraction actually is. So first, let's talk about the movie The Secret. We, of course, start our journey by visiting The Secret documentary homepage, which is thesecret.tv slash law of attraction. And when you land on their homepage, it reads this. Under the law of attraction, the complete order of the universe is determined, including everything that comes into your life and everything that you experience. It does so through the magnetic power of your thoughts. So already, I'm like, all right, oh brother, here we go. Through the law of attraction, like attracts like. What you think about, you bring about. Now this is the part that sounds reasonable, and I've explained this before, but before I dive too deeply, I'm just going to finish this. Under laboratory conditions, cutting-edge science has confirmed that every thought is made up of energy and has its own unique frequency. They don't care to mention what science lab, where's their study. Give me some science. Let me know, right? If this is real, tell me. It goes on to say, And when this energy and frequency of a single thought radiates out into the universe, it naturally interacts with the material world. Of course, it has long been known that matter, or physical objects, are just also packets of energy at the submicroscopic quantum level. And so, as your thought radiates out, it attracts the energy and frequencies of like thoughts, like objects, and even like people and draws those things close to you. It follows, then, that your thoughts become things. It's the law of attraction. How to harness this all-powerful and universal law of attraction in order to create the life of your dreams? Well, now that is the secret. So basically, I'll level with you. This is the type of crap that people believe in, and then they completely disavow any sort of self-love or self-work because all they need to do is to sit in a room and close their eyes and their thoughts are affecting the universe at a quantum level, and so what they want will eventually be delivered to them. And when people are heartbroken and going through a breakup, they'll do and listen to many different pieces of advice, advice like mine that's very self-focused, advice like Brad Browning's or Dan Bacon's that's very manipulative, or advice like this, which is basically all you need to do is sit and meditate and turn your thoughts into creations, and you'll get what you want. But then let me ask you this, if the person who, you know, came about this idea of the secret, if they wanted hundreds of millions of dollars, why would they make a video called The Secret? They could have just sat in their room, closed their eyes, and visualized the goal, and their thoughts would have affected the universe, and they truly need to believe. And if it's not working for you, that means you truly don't believe, right? You really need to give your mind over and allow it to create hundreds of millions of dollars. It doesn't make any sense. It's a lie. It's a marketing scam. It doesn't work. So for those of you saying, but you're wrong, I've done this before. I manifested my ex back. I manifested my ex to give me a call. I manifested that new job or new car. Well, no, you didn't. The universe didn't just manifest it. It didn't just pop out of nowhere. What happened is that you truly believed that it was going to work out for the better. You truly believed that you were able to focus on yourself and that you were going to have a positive result because of that. And so you approached this situation. Maybe it's a breakup or maybe it's something different. You approach the situation with a can-do attitude. I truly believe it will come to me and so I will get it. I've used this example many times. If 
I am somebody who's overweight. And I truly believe that I am somebody who is thin. I'm going to begin adopting the behaviors of somebody who's thin and fit. So, does somebody who's thin and fit eat a lot of junk food and a lot of sugary food? No. Does somebody who's thin and fit get up in the morning and go to the gym even when they don't want to? Yes. So I've adopted the behaviors that will cause success for what I want. But it's not as if I sat in my room and I meditated really hard and what I wanted came to me. I am not going to look in my driveway and ever see a Ferrari no matter how much I believe I already have one. My problem with the documentary The Secret and other Law of Attraction channels that say you can manifest your ex to come back or manifest good health or manifest a new car or a million dollars. The problem is it takes out the element of self-work. My friends, the undeniable, inescapable truth of life is that if you want something, anything worth having takes effort to get. We've learned that time and time again. If you want mental peace, you gotta work for it. If you want a healthy new body, you have to work for it. If you want a relationship to be reconciled, you have to work for it. But work for it smarter, not harder. This whole channel is about working smarter, not harder. Don't run into a situation where your ex is a brick wall and you're trying to convince them of your way when they're telling you, no, it's not going to be that way. Now, for those of you who like the law of attraction and thinks that it works for you, the point of this video is not to destroy everything that you believe in. It's simply to say that this sort of hands-off approach, where you trust in the universe and you will be delivered what you want, it doesn't work for most people, and most people don't buy it. But in their sadness, in their depression, they want to believe it because it means that there's a way out and a light at the end of the tunnel. It's the same reason people listen to crap like Brad Browning for. We know it's manipulative, but it might work. But having a relationship back only for it to break up again because the underlying problems haven't been addressed, is exactly how we live a worse life. And as a takeaway, I want you to consider this. Why are channels that promote self-love, self-healing, doing the work, channels like mine, The Dating Guys, Craig Kenneth? I want you to think about this. When you go to YouTube and you search how to get an ex back, guess who pops up? Brad Browning. Dan Bacon. Why? Because they provide you with an easy way out. But sometimes, it's not about the easy way out. Sometimes it's about doing the self-work and loving yourself first. There is no secret. There is no magic pill. If you want the best possible chance of a healthy reconciliation, focus on you and love yourself first. That's all I have for today. If you found my video helpful, I'd be very grateful if you'd subscribe and hit like. Please leave a comment below and tell me what topics you want me to cover in the future. Additionally, if you'd like extra videos every week, private live streams with me, and giveaways of my book upon release, just visit my Patreon. Patreon.com slash TheLoveChat. And, if you like video games and Twitch as a platform, just visit my channel, twitch.tv slash Until next time.